audio is. So if someone joins this live stream, <laughs> let me know how my audio sounds. Um, we're here in Cradley and I'm about to wander around the fate and show you what it's like. Ian's here with me. <laughs> As you can tell from our attire, it is cold and windy and supposed to start raining any minute. It has rained a few raindrops already. So let me tell you how I was planning to dress to come to this fete. I had a really nice red, white, and blue kind of royal looking t-shirt I was going to wear and a red cardigan over that. And instead I'm wearing my one long sleeve shirt, which is magenta, with my usual big thick gray hoodie and my magenta waterproof and my semi-waterproof hiking trousers and oh here we go my new uh hiking boots that have magenta on them hello bobby please let me know how my audio is okay i'm going to take you around the fate and um there's music playing, which hopefully won't be a problem. But they have all kinds of stalls here. Like this fate, you know, this is my whole, this is my second time going to a village fate. And the first village fate, which if you saw my two best things I did in England uh, video, that was in Snows Hill and it was a very small village fate. Now, Cradley is a very small village, but because it's Jubilee weekend, this fate is big. It's got all kinds of stalls here. So what I'm gonna do is walk around and reverse the camera and show you all the cool things that are here. So you don't just have to see my magenta face. Oh, they have dancing. Okay. I'm going to go up to where the dancers are. And there's a lot of dogs here, of course. Because you couldn't possibly come to the fate without bringing your dog. very festive costumes. Goodness, the one second to the end on the left has teacups on her hat. Oh, and then the one next to that in the teal skirt, her headdress has like an afternoon tea and a tiered tray on it. So yeah, we need them to turn around because their headdresses are amazing. So fun. Oh, it's really windy. I'm gonna back away from the dancing and try to go over. Sorry. I'm gonna try to go over to where these stalls are because it's really windy here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the stalls look like they're about to blow over. So just in case anyone from the US watches this, I am gonna try and show some of the Jubilee decor stuff. This woman's standing in front of that flag, so I'll show you in a second. But just when you walk around all the towns and villages, there's so many Jubilee decorations. I've really loved that this last week or so while I've been in London, as well as all the villages, just all the shop displays. 
people who had no yes, idea what was vets. going on yeah, about yeah, eight months yeah. ago. Oh, there must have been a dog yeah, yeah, show. Yeah. I saw a chihuahua that had a red ribbon on. Oh. This looks like a jumble sale. This looks like an old water bottle, ceramic water bottle. All kinds of things here. Now I need to see, need to see where Krista is. She loves jumble sales, antiquing, and charity shops and thrift shops when they're selling plants. Oh, we've got to go see this. Oh my goodness. I'm live streaming, so I'm just showing all the fun stuff you have. Oh, Jubilee crowns. These are wonderful. Did, is this crochet or knitting? It's knitting. Knitting. And did you make them all? Yes. Oh my. Do you want to be filmed? Okay, excellent. Do, do, you, do you live nearby? I live in Malvern, so we're about 10 minutes away. Not yes, far. yes, we know Malvern. My husband wanted us to buy a flat in Malvern, mm -hmm. Great Malvern. Great Malvern, yes. And it had a beautiful view out over the whole valley all the way to the Cotswolds. But when we drove up to the flat to see it, I got terribly motion sick and I'm like, if I can't get to my home once without getting motion sick, yes. that's not a good thing for long-term living. <laughs> yeah. But it's a good place to keep coming and visiting. Yes, it is. Yeah. It is beautiful. And if we got used to driving the roads in Malvern, it would be better. Mm -hmm. But it is a beautiful area. Yeah, it is. It is. We're very lucky. Well, your merchandise is gorgeous. Thank you. Oh, and a bunting too. I love it. Yeah, I make the blankets and the bunting to order. Oh, okay. So that, you know, people can choose the colors they want in the bunting. Yes. Um, and then everything else is all just stuff in stock. Oh, yes. Yeah. They're fabulous. All right. Thank you so much. You. Um, I think I'd like to get, the let's go to the crisps. Um, okay. Ian wants to show me the crisps. I just want to look at these. Um, oh, they're salt bars. I've never seen this. It's salt soap. Oh, those are beautiful. Oh, dog shampoo. Make it all myself if you have any questions. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's a pooch bath set. Oh my, oh, it smells fantastic. Too bad this is not smell-o-vision. This is just a pampered pooch soap trio for all the dog lovers out there. Okay, are the crisps down here, Ian? Yeah, down this way. Okay. We'll see. Maybe maybe I can eat something during this live stream. Maybe we do a live stream taste test. Okay, this is not edible. This is more soap. Oh my goodness. Those are so beautiful. This is candles. Oh, teacup candles. Oh, and then, oh, Bozilla, all kinds of hair bows. Great stuff. Oh, jams. Oh, <laughs> boozy rhubarb. Ooh, rhubarb and apricot, that sounds delicious. <laughs> Buy it, don't photograph it. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm live streaming, so I have to keep going. Oh, right. But okay. I can come back and buy no, things no, after I'm, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> I'm being funny. Well, we do have a collection of jams, and we've sold most of the cakes. Yeah. Yes, it looks like you've done a great job selling yeah, the cakes. Well, it, this w. is I, banana so cake. Yeah. Oh, the WI. Yes. Okay, so, oh. so because, you know, two of my viewers are from the U.S., everyone else is British. Okay. But those of us in Britain know what the WI is, Absolutely. but would you like to tell... Everyone, what the WI is? The WI is a very old organization. We're 106 years old now. And it stands so, for the Women's Institute. It does stand for the Women's Institute. We currently probably have about 210,000 women in the UK uh -huh. that are supported. 
It's very much an up-and-coming organisation. We're very much in Herefordshire, a very rural WI, yes. but with lots of members. Yes. Always welcoming new members, lots going on. So over 200,000 members. Yes, absolutely. Wow, that's, that's fantastic. We have, it's tiered from national organisation in yes. London, and then it goes down to federations. Yes. Herefordshire have a federation, and then it goes down to WIs that branch out through the localities. Excellent. And, wh and where are you based? You're We're based here in Cradley. Okay, so you live in Cradley? I do. Yes. Excellent. And Cradley is the largest village in England. Cradley is the it largest is, village in I it's the Oh my goodness. In England. I so, okay, this is news to me. Look at this. Yeah, it, WI inspiring largest. women. Yeah, and it did. WI started in and the Queen. Is a yeah, the Queen. The Queen is, is a member of WI. And this lady here has been a WI member for a very long time. How long, <laughs> Sylvia? No. No. <laughs> uh, about 45. 45, 45 years. years of being um, a WI member. We also champion um, causes, don't we? We do. We were one of the original yes. ones. Keep Britain tidy. Keep Britain tidy. Yep. And um, talking about plastics. Yes, microplastics. Oh, microplastics. oh yes. Back in the 70s. Yep. When nobody had heard of microplastics. Wow. And currently WI ahead of its time. We're yeah. campaigning for um, undiagnosed women and girls with ADHD. And, and ASD. ASD. Okay, and someone is telling me that the Queen is a member of the Sandringham yeah, she WI. Is. She's, she's perhaps is. been a member longer she's than you president. even. She's the president. Yeah. She's the president, yeah. as she, she should be. When she was a very, when she just she first became Queen. Oh. Yes. But certainly, and we had the uh, Duchess of Wessex last year at the annual meeting. We're just about to have our annual meeting, annual general next meeting week. in Liverpool next week. Oh. And we have speakers um, from all over the place coming to see. And that's in Liverpool, in the arena in Liverpool. But it's a great organisation. It's about friendship, support, um, helping each other. Mm -hmm. And it's a really money true... For charity. Yeah. Yes. And our, is the food bank? Yes. We're Let raising money for the food bank. bank. Let me food so, so this is my husband. Hello. And husband. he is a, a dual citizen. And even though we live in Texas most of the year, wow. we live in Cheltenham the oh, rest of the year. But here's the thing you really want to know about Ian is his ancestors were from Cradley. Oh, I mean, wow. going back to 1694. Well, we're in the doomsday book, as you probably know. Yes. But we're in the doomsday book. Wow. We've tried to look, but the, the headstones are so worn oh, that you can't you see them. Have you looked at the records? Because there must be records in the church. Yeah, mm. we need to do a better job. I've looked at what's available online, yeah. but I'm, I, yeah. and we did have a look look around the first time we came to Cradley, yeah. around the village hall and the church, but we need to do again. You do, you need to actually, and also in the village hall, there is the Heritage Centre. Yes. And two gentlemen, they would know a lot about, they've got all the records in there as yes. well, Pop it in. relating mm. to that, because you know the village hall is very old. Yes. That mm. dates back, the black and white Thanks village hall. So, mm. so, Cradley is the largest village in England. Yeah. Oh, really? It is. Oh. See, we, we, we've been spreading Inside. rumors that it's small. Inside. Just shows. In size. In size. Oh, mm. well, yes, because when we saw the sign toward the fate, we felt like we were driving for miles on end before we actually, mm -hmm. like, this can't all be crazy. Such a long way from home, and the weather's not particularly very good. Today. Well, I was hoping for a sunnier, warmer fate. I but gotta you spend say. Most of your time in the states, and then you come here. Yes, and it's quite hot in Texas in the yeah. summer, yeah. and yes, so it's lovely to be yeah. here. Yeah. I've been to Houston. Yes. Yes, we we live near Dallas. Oh, wow. So, oh, wow. yes, wow. it's all hot though. So cool. <laughs> yes, we live not too far from South Park right. Ranch. Well, <laughs> it's lovely to talk to you today. Yes, and so a little bit of an insight into what we do here. Yes, but no. We love Tall Jam and Jerusalem. <laughs> we are a really, really active women's organization. Oh, you're you the Women's Institute? We, yes. Oh, my. He, he told he, them my mum used to yeah. belong to them. Well, and no, we, I talk about and we have a big say. We have a big say in government. We campaign yep, and we year. sit on committees. So yeah. it's, you know, it's not just a well, ladies club. All right. Well, I'm going to finish my live stream and then I might need to come back and buy that rhubarb and apricot jam right. well, if it's still here. You. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow. There's just, I, have, I have to show the heel and coo and then I'll be there. Lovely. Oh, there's hedgehogs. Oh, yes. Oh, 
All right, so many wonderful handmade crafts around here. Oh, here's the crisps. Oh, I see here. Oh, this is two farmers. Yeah. You're so, not the two farmers, are you? No. The son in law. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. We don't want to be on YouTube. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, no, no. No, 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 I understand. Many people don't. You can do this goods. Yes, yes. And so, so these are to taste. These, yes. these okay. bowls. Yeah, they grow their own potatoes. So I want to. I want to. So buy the, their, their family are the two farmers. Yeah. Yes, and this is cheese and, three, oh, cheese and onion. Cheese and onion. Yeah. That's not a three. It's an ampersand. Lightly salted. And then go mm. to. Mm. That's got a little bit of a kick chili in that one. Yeah. Bowl shot. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I, I want to get, I think I want to get one of, do you have a small, do you have any small of these? A small one of those? Did you try the bull like, shot? Uh, you know what, I better try it first. Yeah. It's yeah. chili. It's got chili. Uh, yep. I think you should get the cider and, and then vinegar, salt and cider vinegar. And the salt and cider vinegar, please, yes. Yeah. And those there. are one pound each, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's it. And so... What what these these um, these bags are not plastic. They're the only, oh. So you were yes. saying they were joy. Yeah, but I don't want to be on YouTube. Yeah. 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 No, I'm not putting oh. you on. This okay, so th these free. are plastic-free yeah, bags. They're biodegradable plastic-free bags. That is fantastic. Yeah. See, so see, it says it's compostable here on this logo. That's right. Okay, fantastic. And grown in Herefordshire? Yes. Yeah. Okay, excellent. So where can we throw the ba the, ba the, the bags? Where are we allowed? Compost tea. In compost tea? Okay. okay. Feels like it's starting to rain. Oh, wow. So where where are these, um, are these paintings or? Paintings. paintings. Yes. Where are these, are they watercolors? Yes. Okay. It's starting to rain. Yes, I'm going to yes. hide out under your awning for a second. I'm live streaming. So, okay. so tell me uh, where these are from. Um, most of them are made up in my head. Okay. Uh, except for that one, it's St. Ives Harbour. It's where? St. Ives Harbour. Oh, St. Ives, yes. The rest, I've just taken inspiration from all the... You know, pretty seaside villages like Tenby. I was going to say, yeah. the, when I saw the multicolor uh, buildings, I thought of Tenby because yeah. I just have been editing my vlog of Tenby. Right. It's lovely there, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. so this is kind of reminiscent of Tenby. And then, of course, we know St. Ives because Ian was attacked by a seagull in St. Ives who pinched his sandwich. Yes, and the locals just hang out and watch and get amused. Oh, they're vicious, yes. Oh, yeah, no, Jean, she was very vehement about not wanting to be on YouTube. So I was not going to push that matter. Oh, these are beautiful. So much lovely artwork here. Oh, look at this one. Very Art Deco. Oh, I love it. It's beautiful. Oh, wow. We've got some very pretty magenta here. They're all hand-drawn designs. Oh, wow. The artistry. Oh, my. This peacock is just stunning. And very posh bottle stoppers. Hello. So we were in Ledbury this morning, and I filmed that for uh, for an upcoming vlog. Ledbury is a place that we have loved for many years, so that was really fun. Oh, this is origami. Little origami dresses and oh, these origami shirts. Oh, isn't that sweet? Okay, 
I'm going to try and snag a crisp here. Oh, okay. I can't hold the... Mm, let me get my <laughs> All right. Can you hear my crunching on the microphone? That's the question. Okay. All right. Now, oh, look, it's hot water bottle covers and tea cozies. Okay, this is very British. Look at the hot water bottle. No, nobody in the U.S. has hot water bottles, so this is kind of, this is kind of fabulous. <laughs> and we don't have tea cozies either. Different sized. Oh, these are very cushiony. They feel like pillows. Those are fantastic. Oh, tooth fairy envelopes. Oh my goodness, this is fantastic. Oh, rabbits. Okay, I am going to walk down here and see, check out the rest of these. There are so many stalls. Let me see if I can pop around. There we go. There are so many stalls here. I'm just amazed. And yes, hot water bottles are wonderful to have in a cold bed just to warm your cold feet on a winter's night. Um, I'm hoping to find some more food. Good morning, Kara. Oh, you have to see these Jubilee flower crowns. Here we go. Here goes nothing. There we go. Oh, there's some pretty sweet Williams and oh. beautiful. I love them. So where are these flowers grown? They're all British or are from my garden. Oh, some are from your garden. Oh, and I love your jacket is very <laughs> red, white, and blue and patriotic that was, looking. That was just a good coincidence. Oh, well, I wanted to wear red, white, and blue today, but it's you too cold and that. rainy, so I'm magenta instead. I'm sorry to be daft, but what are these? Which, which are you looking at? These, these yes. Peg bags. They're what? Peg bags. Peg bags for clothes yes, pegs. Yes. Ah, says the American That's where. Right. You can clip them onto your line or on your belt. Oh, no. Well, yes, just nobody dries their clothes on the line. So, so we're kind of stupid about things like clothes bags. Oh, and these are such... And a dryer and a tumble dryer, like oh. a wasteful person. <laughs> oh my heavens, look at this. It's a magenta VW bus coin purse. There's a, there's a bag that matches that as well. Let's, oh, Toe yes. Bag. Look at this. That's fantastic. Oh yes, we're loving that. So I'm in the middle of live streaming, so I can't buy anything right now. So, <laughs> but I'm just ch seeing all the lovely things that I can come back and buy later when I'm not in the middle of a live stream. Oh, those are great. Those cone things, peg bags, see? Someone else would have known what those were, but I was a little clueless. Oh, oh, I see. This is coloring. You can color your own buntings. Or tablecloths. Oh! Oh, this is so cute! Oh, that's what the bunting is when it's all colored in. Oh, I love it. Great. My name is Henry, but I do. You need to film over there. Okay, where there's do some, I need to something film? Something special is going on oh, here. Oh, oh, okay. I've been told there's something. Oh, it's a falconer, or whatever you call them. I'm going to film this, and then I might have to stop the live stream and go get something to eat. Wait, 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 wait.
<laughs> Is that, it looks like a little owl and it's just screeching. Yeah, no, for sure, Jean. I'm gonna, I'm gonna duck. If that, uh, if that bird goes flying off of its caper, I'll be ducking. Oh, sorry, sorry. Here we go. So the sound's not working. You can't hear. Okay. It looks like he's about to take off. Open my <laughs> the, the trainer sounds like he's very disappointed with the bird's performance. Okay, here we go, here we go. We do have long in British. Well done. A nocturnal species, most owls are nocturnal, but not this one. This is actually an owl most likely. He's saying that most owls are nocturnal, but not this one. Okay, let's see what the owl's going to do now. Oh, well done. Oh, beautiful. There's an owl sanctuary somewhere in Herefordshire that we went to with our boys, and you can pet, stroke the feathers of those little owls, and it was so fun. It was so cute. Okay, we might get one more of these flights, and then I might leave it for today because I am getting rained on. Do you spot the person in the magenta rain jacket on the other side? Oh, there's a few magenta rain jackets. Oh, there's about four or five actually. <laughs> That's funny. All right. All right. Oh, there's a band over there that looks like they're about to start playing. And so I probably should stop live streaming before that. Oh, I just have to show where the kids area is before I wrap this up. There's all kinds of bouncy house stuff. Oh, and Ian, where's the program? I meant to show this. This is the Cradley Platinum Jubilee Fate program. So that, that will be a collectible. <laughs> if we can get it home without it being completely soaked with rain, because it is raining now. The weather is pretty suboptimal, I, I, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, and here's a soft ice cream, Super Whip ice cream van here, which kind of sounds like not very appealing at the moment, because it's windy and raining and cold. Oh, they've got like bull riding here that the kids are doing. This is because, you know, that's such a Texan thing. I got to show y'all this. Who had mechanical bull riding first? The Britons or the Americans? That would be a good question. Thankfully, that looks like pretty tame bull riding. <laughs> and then we've got a big big bouncy house slide here and then speaking of American things we've got the Simpsons bounce house over here oh and then they have all kinds of games here <laughs> yeah I don't think I'll be getting on the bull riding I, it would be too embarrassing to walk up there and say I want to ride the bull and then have them tell me we have a weight limit of I don't know three stone and I'm gonna say yeah I will exceed that yeah here's all the kids games all right um, oh <laughs> there's a little like oh I see it's duck hunting where you shoot shoot these little nerf guns at 
Well, after that duck bit me at Blenheim Palace, I should have a vendetta and go shoot some ducks. But I'm a pretty nonviolent person, so I'm not going to do that. Oh, look. Oh, okay. Now this is the last thing I'm going to do. I'm going to show you these classic cars. I didn't know they were here. Did you know these? Were, they were here, Ian? No. Nope. Okay, so we have an MG, a Triumph. I'm not going to demonstrate my knowledge of cars. I'm going to demonstrate my ability to read signs. And then this is a Morris Minor Traveler. I don't know that I have seen a car quite like this before. That's fascinating. And then, oh wow. Here's a posh car, <clears throat> Rolls-Royce Silver Wraith II, very posh. And I was going to say, this looks like a Morgan. It is a Morgan, and can I just say, that is a gorgeous color. I mean, if you can't have magenta, I'd say have that color, because that is beautiful and then David oh I hope that you are out of hospital soon my friend but I'm glad that you're able to watch this live stream because you know honestly people I didn't know <laughs> how well I would be able to transmit here in the middle of this extremely rural area um, this is a mini estate wagon, which, you know, oh, so, oh, oh, oh sorry, you, camera, cameraman error there. Um, yes, this is a miss, mini, like, estate wagon or whatever it's called, and it's so funny because it's like this huge mini, which isn't that quite the oxymoron. All right, so just one last pan over this village fate. There's all the stalls over there, and then kind of the performance area in the middle. And then the kids area over here. And actually, Cradley has... Our second band playing today is just... Oh, the band's about to start. So yeah, Cradley, I just want to finish up by saying, Cradley has a beautiful village hall and church. And um, we're going to have to just come back sometime later on this summer when it's not freezing cold and windy <laughs> and raining. And, and go visit the church and the village hall. And I'm gonna do some more family history research on Ian's ancestors because we've only got, gone back as far as 1694. And I think we can go back farther if we can find some information. So thanks so much for joining everyone. And tomorrow I'll be doing a live stream from our neighborhood street party in Cheltenham. The weather is supposed to be even worse, <laughs> so that should be that should be really um, that should be really interesting to see how that goes. But I, I, it might be a short live stream if it's if it's raining like crazy. Um, it might be a five minute live stream, but I'm gonna at least show you what a jubilee uh, street party celebration looks like in England from my neighborhood in Cheltenham, and I think I'm gonna be starting that about 5 p.m. in Britain which would be about noon Eastern time in the U.S. and whatever the calculations are from there. Thanks everyone for joining. Love you. Happy Jubilee Bank Holiday Weekend. Cheers. <laughs> and I can't Remember how to stop. <laughs> there we go.